Let's talk about menus. In tkinter, you are creating a menu with tk menu. Be aware here, we are using tk, not ttk. But other than that, the widget is fairly straightforward. However, there's one thing you have to understand to create more complex menus. And that is that you are always using multiple TK menus and you nest them. Sometimes you can nest quite a few of them at the same time. And this can get a bit confusing and a bit complex. Let me give you an example. If you want to create a simple menu, you will place a TK menu inside of another TK menu. And then this TK menu becomes an option. Now, what does that mean? Let's say we have our normal application. The entire window is the blue frame here. Inside of there, we have TK menu. This is the main menu. This would be just a normal top bar like you've seen in basically any other application. Inside of that, we are placing another item and this would be the TK menu. This would now be one of the entries inside of this menu. But other than that, both of these are just TK menu widgets. The red menu, though, can now have a couple of extra options. Meaning here, we actually have items we can pick from. I hope that makes sense. You could make all of this even more complex because you could place for a sub menu, a menu inside of a menu inside of another menu. For this example, I kept the colors constant. The main menu is the yellow one. Inside of there, we have a red sub menu or one item inside of the main menu. Inside of that menu, we have another menu. This would be one of the items in here. Inside of there, we could have other entries like so. And we could even have other menus in here. This would still work. The system overall can get quite complicated, but well, once you understand the basic logic, this really isn't too difficult, as long as you understand the nesting principle. Let me actually demonstrate what we are going to make. It's going to look like this. We have a menu with a couple of entries, and inside of one, we have a submenu. On top of that, we also have a checkbox in here that we can check and uncheck. Finally, there is a separate menu button. It's basically a button with a menu, although it works like a menu. And that is all we need. Let's have a look at this in code. Once again, I have a few lines of code ready. If I execute all of this, we have a plain tkinter window. It doesn't do very much. In here, I want to create a menu. This we create with tk and menu. Like any other widget, this is going to need a parent, which in my case is going to be the window. On top of that, this widget I want to store inside of a variable that I'm going to call menu. While this menu is just another widget, we are not using the pack method on it. Instead, to turn it into the menu of the window, you would use window, configure, and then you would set the menu to the menu. If I run this now, we can't see anything. The reason for that is that this menu by default is invisible. We can only see the children inside of it. Since we don't have any children right now, we can't see anything. But that we can change quite easily. Let's start by creating one sub menu. I want to create TK menu again. Although now the parent is going to be the menu, the one we just created, this one up here. This I want to store as well in a variable. I'm going to call this one the file menu. The name is basically arbitrary. With this, we have an entry, but if I run the code, we still can't see anything. The reason for that is that we need one more line of code. We need to get our menu and then the method add cascade. For this one, we need two arguments. First of all, we need what is called the label. This is the text you are going to see. I'm going to call this one file. Besides that, we need a menu entry. This is the file menu we just created. And now we should be seeing something. There we go. In the top left, we now have file. Although if I click on it, we just see something empty that is doing some weird stuff. There are two reasons why this is happening. The more important one is that this file menu doesn't have any entries right now. To give it some, we have a couple of different options. The one you are going to use the most 
is the method add command. This one, like add cascade, has a label. Let me call this one new. And then we have a command. This one could be any function. In my case, I'm going to set a lambda function that is going to print new file, like so. And now if I run this again, I can click on file and we have a new entry. If I click on that, we have a new file printout. That's pretty good. Although if I click again on file, you can see we have this separator thing. If I click on that, we are creating another window. That is kind of weird. Although the menu still works, but this isn't the desired behavior. To fix that, when we are creating the file menu, we have to add one more argument, and that is called tear off. By default, this one is true. And that means you can tear away the menu and have it as a separate window. I do not want this behavior, so I'm going to set this to false. Running this again now, inside of file, we only have the menu entry. This is looking like a proper menu. And let's go through the entire thing again, just to make sure all of this makes sense. We have the entire main window up here. That is the entire window. That one should be fairly obvious at this point. Inside of that thing, we have a menu. This is the entire menu bar up here. For that, you need the menu widget itself. And on top of that, you have to run window configure and set the menu as the menu. Inside of that, we have right now one menu or one submenu that is called file menu. This is the file we have created here. For that, we need another TK menu and we have to get the original menu and add cascade. Then inside of this file menu, let me clean this up a bit. Inside of this file menu, we can add different entries with, for example, add command. There are a couple more entries, but add command is the one you probably want to use. If you got this far, the worst part about understanding menus is basically over. Because now we could run this add command a second time. Besides new, let's say I also want to have open, which is going to print open file. Let's run all of this again inside of the file menu. I now have new and open. Let's still both do a command. Cool. This is working quite well. And I guess besides add command, there are a couple more methods you could use. A really simple one is called add separator. Don't forget to call it. If you run this one, we now have a separator between the menus. This one doesn't really do anything, but it's a nice way to separate the menu entries. To get all of the entries, this website here is pretty good because if you scroll down, you have a couple of basic options and below that, you have all of the methods you could use. For example, we have used add command and we have used add separator. There's also add radio button, add check button. Those are quite obvious, I think. And you could also delete and do quite a few more things, but I want to keep it simple. If you want to go into more depth, check this out in your own time. I want to create another sub menu. This I want to store in a separate variable. Let me call it the help menu. This again, we create with TK menu. Once again, menu is going to be the parent and tear off. I want to set to false, like the one we have created up here. This sub menu, I now have to attach to the main menu which means I want to get my main menu. Then I want to add cascade. The label here is going to be help. And then the menu is going to be the help menu. I can run this now. And there we have a second menu item. This one, if I click on it, doesn't do anything because there are no entries, but file still works just as before. For this one, I want to have one item. Let's copy the add command from the file menu, except this one should be for the help menu. In here, for example, the label could be help entry, and this one just prints help. It doesn't really matter what it is. And this we have already seen a couple of times. So if I run this, we now have a second menu besides file menu. This one is pretty straightforward. Let's do something a bit more interesting. For this help menu, I now want to add a check button. 
This is going to work basically like the normal check button that you have seen in the buttons a couple of sections ago. Although first of all, we need a label. And this label I just called check. Since we are working with a check button in here, we can set an on value that I want to set to on and we have an off value that I want to set to off. These two values we have to store somewhere. For that, I want to use a tkinter variable. I'm going to call this one help check string value. The value here is going to be tk and a string var. This variable I now want to set for this check button. So variable is going to be the help check string. That should be all we need. Let me run this. And if I click on help now, we have the check entry. I can click on it. And now we have this entry checked. I can click on it again and it disappears. Cool. Once we have that, we can always get the value from inside of this tkinter variable. For example, inside of this add command, instead of printing help, I want to get help check string and get the value. Let's try all of this. Inside of help, I still have the check entry. I can click on it and it still works. And now if I click on help entry, we get either on or if I unselect the check, I get off. So this is working pretty good. With that, we have created some basic menus. And once again, the main difficulty here is the nesting. That we always place one menu inside of another menu, but they are the same widget. Besides that, we can also create a menu button. This is a separate widget that is called TTK and menu button. This as always is going to need a master. In my case, this is going to be the window and we need a text like any other button. I'm going to call this one the menu button. On top of that, this needs to be stored in a variable. Menu button is a good name here, I think. For this button, we need the normal pack method because this one functions well like a button menu button and pack and now we have a menu button although if i click on it nothing happens right now because we don't have any entries that being said once you got this far you can just add tk menus to it let me create one tk menu in here the parent is going to be the menu button and tear off is also going to be false. This I want to store, let me call it button sub menu. Once we have that, we basically want to do what we have done here. We want to set the sub menu to the parent menu via configure, which means I want to get my menu button. I want to run configure. And here I want to set the menu to my button sub menu. Let's try this one now. And now if I click on the button, we still can't see anything. The reason for that now is that this button sub menu doesn't have any entries. Although that we can change very easily. All we need is the button sub menu. I want to add a command. For this, we need a label with entry one or whatever you want to add. And we have a command that is going to be lambda in my case, that is going to print test one. If I now fix the typo and run this, this should be working. Now we have entry one. I can click on it and we also get entry one. Besides that, we could also add a check button. For this one, we can just leave it like so. I guess I can call it check one. I can run this now. And now we have a check button in here that I can click on. Works like any other menu. It's kind of similar compared to the menus you've seen before, but not that much. The main difference is that now you have a menu button. And for this one, you have to configure the menu to be the proper menu. Oh, and what I forgot, this configure, you could simplify a tiny bit. This is what we have seen earlier. Besides this line, you could get the menu button in here. You could get the menu and the value of this menu could be this button sub menu. The result would be the same. If I run it, we still have the same outcome. Choose whichever you like more. It's really up to you. Both are equivalent. We are nearly done. Although I want to do an exercise. 
This exercise I want to place before we are setting the menu to the window. I want you guys to add another menu item to the main menu. Like file menu and help menu, you should create another menu. The one difficulty for this one is that this new menu you're going to create should have one sub menu. Meaning a menu inside of the menu you are going to create. For that, you want to read this website, the one I just talked about. I want to start by creating an exercise menu. This is going to be TK and menu. In here, the parent is going to be the main menu and tear off, I want to set to false. Just to make sure that we have one entry in here, I want to get this exercise menu and add a command. For the label, I just want to have exercise test one. This is actually all we need. You don't have to specify a command if you don't want to or don't need to. Finally, to see this menu, we have to get the main menu and we have to add cascade. Like we have done here and here. We need a label, this one I called exercise. The menu is going to be the exercise menu. With that, I can run the entire thing. And now we have the exercise menu with exercise test one. And I can see I have a typo. This should be exercise, like so. With this, we have covered the first part of the exercise. The next one is a bit more interesting. I want to add a submenu to this submenu, meaning we have a sub submenu. This submenu, I want to store in another variable. I'm going to call it exercise submenu. Although this one, once again, is just going to be another TK menu. With menu being the parent and tier of being false. The way you have to think about it is that this exercise submenu, we want to add to the exercise menu like we have added the exercise menu to the main menu, which we have done with add cascade. Which means I want to get my exercise menu and add cascade. Once again, we need a label. Let's call it more stuff. Besides that, we also need a menu. This is going to be the exercise sub menu. Now if I run this, inside of exercise, we have more stuff. And this one doesn't do anything right now because it has no entries. But that we can change very easily. For this exercise sub menu, I want to add a command, like I have done for the exercise menu. Which means I can copy the exercise menu add command and change this to exercise sub menu. With a new label, some more stuff. Now I can run this, and if I now click on exercise, more stuff, we have a sub sub menu. This could then be literally anything. Once again, the nesting here is the complicated bit, but all we have really done is we have the main menu all the way on the top. This is where everything else goes in. Inside of this menu, we are adding one exercise menu. For that, we are creating a TK menu widget and we are using add cascade on the parent menu to create this menu item. Although this add cascade, we can do on any menu item. For example, on this exercise menu, we have added another sub menu. And I'm fully aware that this can be kind of confusing. Definitely go through this slowly and make sure you understand every level of nesting. Although with that, we have finished the menus.